Hello, in this video we show you some of the motions and gestures on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. So with our device powered on at the home screen, if we tap once on the screen, we can often do something. So in this case, it turned the backlight on. If we tap on the apps, it opens up the app tray. If I tap on the back button down here, it closes. If I tap on the phone shortcut, it opens up the phone. The next thing is to tap and hold. So on the home screen here, it's actually brought me up a little menu. Tap the back button. I then have the tap, hold and drag. So if I tap and hold on this Twitter icon, I can then drag it about the screen to move its position. Or I could tap, hold and drag and remove it, for example. So that's tap, hold and drag. If I click into the web browser, I've got a standard desktop web page. Now I can't really see the text on here too well, so I want to zoom in. So I can double tap in or out of the text to get a better view. So there it's zoomed in by a double tap. If I tap it again, it zooms out. The other option I have is the pinching mechanism, which goes from the center of the screen out to zoom in and the other way to zoom out. So I'm pinching in on the text or zooming out. So that won't get you the same on-screen reorganization of the text as double tapping does, but it allows you to zoom in and out on the text. And that will work in your gallery. So if I go into the gallery, I have a picture here. I want to zoom in, so I pinch and like that. I then got the flicking motion, which is from left to right or up and down if appropriate. And that allows me to move through images. It allow me to move through my home screens. So that's the flicking motion. Now, one of the other things with the Samsung Galaxy Note is if you drag down from the top like that, that's the dragging motion again, click into settings, click into controls. You also have towards the bottom a whole variety of motions. So if I tap into motions, some of these may or may not be switched on on your device. Switched on is indicated by the green icon, switched off is by the gray uh, circle just here. And it gives you more control uh, over the motions. So direct call, call a cu contact currently displayed on screen. So if you have a contact's details up on screen, if you then hold the phone up to your ear, that will automatically begin ringing your contact. So that's one motion that you actually have. You've got another motion, which is catch missed calls and messages. And if I tap in here, if you've had your phone on your desktop and you've missed a call or a message, when you pick it up, it will vibrate and tell you basically that you've got missed notifications on your device. So you've got that motion alert. You can also use the zoom control here as the graphic demonstrates by moving your device back and forth. You can zoom in and out of the picture if you switch that on. You've also got browse and image. So you can move your device up and down and left and right to move around a zoomed in image if you choose. You've actually got then mute and pause. So if your phone is ringing, maybe you have it in hand like this and it rings, you simply turn it over to place it face down and that will mute any notifications that you've actually got coming through on your device and will essentially silence that call or something like that, but it won't actually stop it. You then have palm motion, which goes one stage further. So you've got capture screen. So if I tap on that, you can capture a screenshot simply by swiping your hand across the sensor at the top. You also have mute and pause, which again, place your hand over the screen to mute something that might actually be going on. So it could be that you have a wet hand and you can't actually uh, touch the device. You therefore put your hand over it and that will actually um, then mute whatever's going on. 
So you also have air gestures. So if we tap into air gestures, we can see all of these are switched off at the moment. But if I switch them on, we get further information on what these are. And it uses the sensors at the top here. So we've got quick glance. When the screen is off, reach towards your device for important information at a glance. So basically, if your device is switched off and it's on a desktop, just put your hand over the top of the device and you'll get a little pop-up on screen showing you key information such as the time, any missed messages, etc. And you can actually configure those down here, what actually shows up when you've got this particular one switched on. Air jump, scroll between web pages simply by moving your hand across the sensor as the graphic actually shows you. Uh, it could be email messages as well. Air browse moving through images, music player, S note as identified by these grayed out icons here just by panning across like so. And you've also got air call accept. So if someone's ringing you and you don't want to touch the phone, just move your hand across and then you've got that air call accept feature uh, enabled there. So that's a few of the gestures and motions on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3.